Good morning, folks. We're starting with highlights from last night's video. We ride Comet Siding Spring on close approach past Mars. Then we sit on the red planet and watch the comet go by, breaking down the upcoming show this October. The what, the when, the how, all coming up, the 19th of October, 2014. We'll be aiming to watch it happen. The video highlights the conservative views, but contains an annotation near the end breaking down some other possibilities. Right below this video, you will find a link to go ride that comet with me, along with the rest of today's resource links. Ice is finally gone on Lake Superior, at least for shipping purposes. This is one of the longest periods of seeing ice there. We're in mid-June, still a couple blocks floating around. Pop over to the CFA for an interesting take on how galaxy hunting is getting boosts from the compiled archives and new survey techniques. Also, you will have a link for this rapidly sped up animation. The video and accompanying material describe a huge gamma burst shrouded in dust. The video comes from the ESO and the ALMA data comes from the NRAO. Hurricane Christina, Category 3 Storm. Luckily, she is going to stay out to land, but nevertheless is a perfect Uyen storm and will still affect the coastline. Same with the cyclone in the North Indian Ocean. The experts say it could weaken by the time it makes it to Oman, but the flood risk will be just as real. Speaking of those gamma bursts earlier, Earth saw one two days ago that came out of Aquila. The solar wind telemetry shows falling speed as the coronal hole stream wanes, and our shields are looking mighty fine there. Solar flaring is elevated in general, but on a decline from those first X blasts. The departing spots are fun to look at, but have produced virtually nothing. So let's check on the babies and the incoming Leviathan. Still tough to believe this group was born with a Delta class and she's Beta Gamma Delta now, with her brother down south getting Beta class overnight. Big guy doesn't really look as mean, but we've seen the center Umbra is a full Delta spot. Gotta watch for more. With flaring on the decline, my eye comes back to our next incoming negative coronal hole down south. We're still under influence from the north right now, and for now, a nervous moment. Been months since we had a quake watch fail or missed a big quake outside of a watch time, but two days ago we raised the earthquake condition index to almost A range on the coronal holes in coming planetary positions, and we've been quiet. The first coronal hole was a dud. The second will have elevated space weather to mix with and the planetary geometry. Tonight, the Earth comes between Venus and Saturn, called a geocentric opposition. And when we turn this thing around, we see that Mercury will be about to join the Sun about a week later. We've been low on the shaking, and the pressure is building. All in all, we've got sunspots to monitor, a glancing blow from a CME due tomorrow, an earthquake watch, and some videos to check out. Do not miss the Siding Spring video. Billy will be uploading a video of our latest 70,000 volt toy, and if you missed it in yesterday's news, we unveiled the mobile observatory. Don't want us to miss your city? We still need local tour contacts for all the unconfirmed locations. Head over to observatoryproject.com and click the journey to see the plan. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.